The strength of a VPS lies in its ability to adapt to your needs in terms of power, memory capacity, or storage capacity. Let's take a look at how to adjust the capacity of a VPS. There is some important information to consider before making any changes. Firstly, for hard disk capacity, only an increase is possible. For example, you cannot switch from an 80 gigabyte disk to a 32 gigabyte disk. This avoids the risk of file corruption or data loss. Secondly, changing solutions or increasing a resource on your VPS can take anything from a few minutes to a few hours, depending on the size of the hard disk. The bigger the server, the longer the changes take. Only one request can be made at any given time. This means that until you receive a confirmation that your capacity change has been done, you cannot make any further changes to the VPS in question. Finally, for security reasons, before you make any changes to your VPS, remember to create a backup. Doing this before any software or hardware modifications is best practice in computing, but also because the instance is rebooted after each modification request. You can do this via the OVH Cloud Control Panel after selecting the VPS you would like to modify. In my case, my offer does not allow me to change the capacities of my disk and memory on the fly. I therefore need to modify my solution to access these features. After going through these steps and waiting for the changes required for my VPS, I see additional options appear. From there, you can change the storage and memory capacity from your hard disk in just a few clicks, without having to upgrade your VPS to a higher range. Generally, the repartitioning of your VPS after the disk space has been modified is automatically done when the instance is rebooted. However, in some special cases, you will need to do this manually. I invite you to follow the guide in the description of this video which outlines how to repartition your VPS manually. Your bill will be automatically adjusted to the new capability selected. If you make any changes during the month, a pro rata rate will be applied to the number of days remaining for the current period. For more information on the world of virtual private servers, please follow the links in this video.